Hello everyone and welcome back to my full note taking app course with Swift and Xcode. In this video, we will be creating our core data because in our previous video, we completely finished all of our layout file. We have our cell, we have our no detail page, we have our navigation controller, we have all of our buttons, and we even have constraints. So with that being said, let's go ahead to our data model right here. And we're going to go ahead and create a new entity. Now this entity is going to be called note, because that is what we're dealing with in our app. We're dealing with notes. So whenever someone creates a new note, we are uh, using this entity note and we're creating a new one. So let's add a couple attributes. These are basically uh, data that's stored with the entity. One of them will be the, the note name or the title, and the type will be a string. The next one is the note, note description. And the note description will also be a string because it is a description, and descriptions are made out of words, which is a string. And our last one is the note image. This one, however, is going to be binary data which is the way you store images. That is all of our core data data model setup we have to do. So let's go ahead and jump to our app delegate. As you can see, um, we created our app with core data enabled already, so it automatically generated all this in our app delegate. Basically, this is just some boilerplate code. That I might have some links in the description for you to read more about if you are really interested but we are going to go ahead and jump right in before we get to the core data however we are going to do a little bit of comment cleanup now I personally do think that comments here and there maybe before a function is good is a good habit but to be honest I think that too many comments really make the code look extremely huge and um, it really buffs it up. It adds a lot of lines to it. So we basically took it down from one and a half pages to only one page. You don't even have to scroll to see everything. And I like that a lot more than having it be completely cluttered with comments, especially when those comments aren't exactly extremely beneficial because we're not really even using a lot of these comments we're not using a lot of these functions anyways so as I said before we start with the core data we're gonna do a little bit of styling with our UI navigation bar so just type in UI navigation bar dot appearance dot bar tint color and what the bar tint color is is the background color of the navigation bar and as if you remember from my preview that I gave it was a sort of reddish color and I use an RGB value the way you use RGB values here is you say UI color then you have your parentheses and then inside your parentheses you say red is a value out of 255 same thing with green blue and alpha which is basically transparency Try a 1.0 because I want it to be 100% transparent. Now the next thing, we can actually just copy and paste this first part because we will be using it. Dot tint color. And what the tint color is, is really just the buttons basically. The color of the buttons. And that is going to be a sort of off-white color, like an extremely light gray basically. Just like that. And now we're going to be coloring the font. And the way I do it is first I say let color is a UI color. So we're basically creating a variable for color that we'll be using for our font UI color. And this is just the same off white color if we, as we have up here. Now let font is a UI font. And this is another variable which we will be applying to our text in the navigation bar. And the name of this is going to be Roboto. 
However, we have not imported our custom fonts just yet. So, right after we finish our work here, I'm going to go ahead and do that so this works well. Our size will be 18, and we want to force unwrap that because we know this is all good, and it has a value, and this is the way it's going to be. So now we're going to create a one more variable called attributes. Now this is a little bit different. I'm sorry I copy pasted it in, but it would take a little bit of time to type out. Basically let attributes, which we will be using, we will apply these to the font, which I'll show you in a second, and as parameters of string any object. And that is an array, which contains a font, which is our Roboto medium, and the color, which is our off-white color. So finally, we will finish up with our UI navigation bar, dot appearance, dot title, text, attributes, title, text, attributes, equals to attributes. So we're giving it the attributes of the font, which is Roboto, and our color, which is our off-white. And the, the very last thing we want to do is this, UI application dot shared dot status bar style. Basically what we're going to do here is we are going to make our status bar dot light content. We're going to make our status bar white. And this actually goes with a, this actually goes with a little option we have to do in info.plist which we will not waste any time with, and we will do that right now. What we need to do is we need to go to our info.plist, and we need to add a new key called view controller based status bar style. And this is going to be no. So now it's only going to listen to our code, and it's going to make it light content just like we want. That is actually all for this video. And in the next videos, we will be creating the three classes and adding them to the correct view controllers. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.